certainly looks a lot different how it did this morning. Get it? <laughs> I think this is a bit of a oh! moment. Ford Escort Cosworth in aubergine purple. Somewhere. It looks unmodified, but the question is, is it real? Should we read the card? Yes. Unmodified, 1996. Amazing. Owner Aaron already owns two. Of course he does. Bought this car about a month ago, unseen. Car has been sitting in the barn, yes. Last time it was on the road, 11 years ago. Aaron has got the car running, but now it needs a detail. You have eight hours of course to do is. this Cosworth proud. <laughs> Let's have a look. There it is, there's the money, but elephant in the room, mucky. I just feel like this is setting a tone now for the rest of the car. Let's have a look. Talking about dirt, that sunroof. He's not letting in much sun. No. Legendary whale yeah, towel. Yeah, yeah. Covered. Is it the most iconic bit of the car? Quite possibly, but not at the moment. Should we have a look at in the interior? I think we need to. Let us pray. Panic over. It seems the doors were closed when it was in the barn. Needs a good hoover though. Hoover, steaming. Yeah. It needs a cleaning, but nothing outrageous. Perfect. We know what we're working with. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. <laughs> That's the heaviest dirt off now. Time for the pre-wash stage. On guard. Oh, it's brown. It's actually brown. <laughs> Mustn't forget your flaps. You might have noticed that we haven't done the wheels yet, but don't you worry, we've got something lined up for them later on. Something very special. Let's get it. in that gap. As lovely as it is to clean your car in the sunshine, don't let your chemicals dry out on the bodywork. You don't want any water spotting. You know it's dirty when you can hear it. That's how you know it's a genuine one, it's got rust. I really think we need to show those arches and barrels some love. On a car that's been sat for 11 years, it's essential. But for you at home, once a year, easy job. Let's get that out of the way. We've got rid of the heavy stuff. Now we're gonna go in with some chemical, and really strip off that dirt. Rinse and repeat until the bubbles run white.
You're gonna get some lovely colours coming out of this. Oh, 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 oh my giddy. Baked in brake dust, easily 20 or 30 years old, and now we've got a hell of a task ahead of us. Now, on to the engine bay. Nothing to be scared of here, more than safe to get it stuck in with, and it's really gonna help with the ongoing maintenance of your car. So you don't need a lot to detail your engine bay. I'm just using an all-purpose cleaner and a small detailing brush and I'm away. You can leave me in here for hours. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. If you're worried about any connections, just take it easy around them. Don't saturate them with liquids such as cleaners. So, as you can see, to get into some of the tighter areas, I'm using a specialist brush. But it's only 20 quid, and in my honest opinion, well worth the money. Finish off the engine bay, a little bit of trim dressing. It's gonna really darken down the plastic to make it easier to clean for next time. Once it's on, allow it to soak in, and in an hour's two's time, we're just gonna whip up any residue. How are we for time? We're four hours in. Let's get it in now, no mucking about. Clay barring, essential before the polishing stage, but what is it? We're pulling out bedded in contaminants from the paintwork, making it as smooth as possible. Hear that? We don't want that.
smoother than my barnet now. Two hours to go, we need to get this interior done. Some finishing touches, glass, let's get it. Joe, we're done. Tools down, time's up. Five more minutes. No, 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 no. We're done. Aaron is on his way. Let's wrap this up. Ah. Hello. You must be Aaron. I am. Mr. Cosworth. Yes. How many of them? <laughs> um, I've got three. Okay. This is my third one. And am I right in saying this is the one that's original? This is original, yep. Plan for this one? Keep it original. Okay. When did the love for fast forwards kick in? Um, when I was about 14, I had an XR3i. Um, I wanted it as my first car, just couldn't insure it, and I've that. had escorts ever since. How many of them you had? Probably 50, 60. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Okay. Last time you saw the car, what colour was it? Mostly dirt. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think it's Aubergine. Um, <laughs> bits of it look Aubergine, so I'm hoping. We've got it yeah. all wet to one colour now at least. Oh, good start. <laughs> but it is brown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> time was against us, we only had eight hours. What are your hopes and what do you want to see out of this? I'd like to see it one colour, and right. I'm hoping the paint's not too flat and faded. Yep. Kind of hoping it's fairly shiny. I think I'm more nervous than you. Okay. Would love for you to see the car. Are you ready? I am, yeah. Let's see it. Let's get it. Wow. Wow. You sure that's my car? Certainly looks a lot different how it did this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we all had a whip round and bought you another one. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly looks like it. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Yeah, thanks for doing it. It's, it's great. Special car. You can see a lot of time's gone into it. Yeah. <laughs> I do love my escorts, so I definitely think this one I'll, uh, I'll be hanging on to. It really is amazing. Mm -hmm. 